Good morning, students. This one is the reading class week number 16. Okay, today is Thursday, July 16. Okay, and we studied the unit number 6B. Uh, the name of the unit is a word within us. Okay, let's start. In this case, okay, first one, we develop the exercise before you read. We circle true or maybe false. Okay, it is depending on our opinion. You have more bacteria in your body than human cells. Okay, what do you consider? This one is true or is a false information? Okay, excellent. In this case, this is a true information. Yes. Okay. Number two. In our body, most bacteria is in our mouth. True or false? In this case, this is false. Exactly. Okay, number three, most bacteria in our bodies are dangerous to us. And in this case, the information is false. Okay, and we discover why. Antibiotics can be bad for us. Okay, and in this case is true. Okay, so, and remember, if something is microscopic, that means this one is very small or tiny. Okay, and you can only see it with a microscope. And an antibiotic this is a type of medicine that stops bacterial infections. Yes? Okay. So let's see. This, this, this is an example of a bacteria. Okay. And bacteria are microscopic. Organisms, some like Staphylococcus, can cause harm. Okay. So in some cases, the bacteria are good and in other are bad. Yes? Okay, this one is a life in miniature. Bacteria, we have a meaning here. They are invisible, they are everywhere, and also we need them to live. Okay, imagine this one. This is important. We need the bacteria for living. Okay, in our bodies, bacteria outnumber human cells by 10 to 1. All this bacteria weighs as much as your brain, nearly 3 pounds. Most bacteria in our bodies are not harmful. In fact, we receive many benefits in important ways. They help us digest food, okay, or they make important vitamins, or they help fight infections, okay. But some bacteria can be dangerous. For example, the Staphylococcus, okay, it lives in our noses, and usually it's harmless. Other bacteria in the nose control it, but if a Staphylococcus travels to another environment, things change. In the skin, for example, it can cause deadly infections, okay? That's mean. Uh, if we have this bacteria in our nose, okay, the Staphylococcus, it doesn't matter, okay? We don't have problem with that with it. But if this bacteria travels to other part of our body, okay, it causes deadly infection. So imagine the, the, the proportional things that the bacteria can do in our body. Okay, if you know one in 10 cells in the body is human. Okay, so let's see. Now we check the part of the vocabulary, but this is the first part. We have invisible, that's mean not able to be seen. And we have a sentence here as example. Only in stories can people make themselves invisible. Yeah, this is true. Then we have harmful, this, that's mean causing damage or injuries. Okay, and smoking is harmful to health. Yeah, we know this one. Infection, a disease that is caused by bacteria or viruses. Okay, and we have a clear example here. You should wash your hands to avoid infection. Remember, okay, nowadays we wash our hands in every moment of our life. Okay, harmless, not causing heart or damage. Okay, this is a cute rabbit. Don't be frightened of that rabbit. It's harmless. Okay, deadly, that's mean causing death. A deadly incurable fungus is killing all friends in Texas. Okay, remember, this is only a, an example, okay? So let's see, and we have uh, this graph, the body's neighborhoods, okay? We have different regions of our body that have unique population of bacteria. For example, okay, the nostrils, we have 2,264 species. Behind the ears, okay, 2,359. Okay, the throat, 4,154. The tongue, 7,947. Imagine, this one is a big quantity. And other, 4,000. Okay, that's meaning another part of our body. But the, the fourth part that we have a lot of bacteria, uh, the first one is the tongue. Second one, we have the throat. Then we have behind the ears and the nostrils. Okay, 
Excellent. We continue with the paragraph. Okay, we cure most bacterial infection with antibiotic, but there are problems with this medicine. Antibiotics kill bad infection causing bacteria, but this medicine kills good bacteria in our bodies. When we kill the good kind, this can cause other health problems. For example, a lack of certain bacteria in the body can make us sick. We should not use antibiotics very often. Say, scientists, we can fight infection, but we also need to maintain healthful bacteria in the body. To help us do this, doctors are now developing the probiotic bacteria or remedies. These new medicines will return certain bacteria to the body and restore the balance our body needs. For years, we thought all bacteria were dangerous, of course, but some are, but others not. But we are learning that many bacteria keep us healthy. They live on and within us, and our well-being depends on them. Okay, today we learned that the bacteria in some cases are bad, but the majority of the times they are good for our body. Okay, let's continue with the next part of the vocabulary. Cure, something that makes someone with an illness healthy again. Okay, they are trying to find a cure for cancer okay lack of not having something or not having enough of something for example a lack of money plays a limit on where we could offer to stay yes a lack of energy a lack of money uh, a lack of knowledge okay this one are clear examples uh, restore this is to bring back to a normal or healthy state okay the patient was soon restored to health a balance, a state of physical steadiness. Okay, the child was walking along the wall when he lost his balance and fell. Okay, and depend on to be affected by somewhere or something. Okay, you can always depend on the social media. Okay, so the majority of the young people depend on the social media because they need to post different things. Uh, let me see, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Yes, okay. So let's see, now we have the reading comprehension part. And the first one is the purpose of the reading. What is the purpose of this reading? To describe how bacteria are important to our bodies, to examine the dangers of bacterial infections, to compare the bacteria that live inside and outside our body, or to explain why we should avoid antibiotics. And in this case, the option is A, to describe how bacteria are important to our bodies because we need them in our body. Yes? Okay. Number two. Which statement about bacteria is true? The bacteria in our brain weigh three pounds. Most bacteria in our bodies are dangerous. We cannot live without bacteria. Or there are more bacteria in our nostrils than in our thought. Okay. What do you consider is the answer? Exactly. In this case, it's the letter C. We cannot live without bacteria because the majority of our body is formed by a bacteria. Exactly. Okay. Number three. In lines four and five, it says, In our bodies, bacteria outnumber human cells by 10 to 1. What does this mean? There are more bacteria than human cells? There are more human cells than bacteria, or there are 10 human cells for every bacterial cell, or there are 10 bacteria in every human cell. And in this case, the correct option is, there are more bacteria than human cells. Okay, so let's see. Now we pass the number four. What is the purpose of the third paragraph? To describe why people get skin infections? To warn us against Staphylococcus? or to list the danger of Staphylococcus, or to explain why some bacteria can be dangerous. Okay, and in this case, the correct option is letter D, to explain why some bacteria can be dangerous for us. Okay, number five. What does it in line 14 refer to? Bacteria in the nose, Staphylococcus, okay, dangerous infections, or bacteria in the skin. It is referring to, okay, the name of the bacteria, Staphylococcus, yes. Number six, what can probiotic remedies do? 
get healthy bacteria back in the body, fight against some antibiotics, identify good versus bad bacteria, or increase good and bad bacteria in the body. And in this case, the correct option, A, exactly, get healthy bacteria back in the body. Number seven, in line 28, what does well-being mean? Medicine, health, body, or bacteria? Okay, in this case, it's health, exactly. It's referring to health. Okay, and did you know that the bacteria-infecting viruses known as phages are the most common form of life on Earth? There are more phages than stars in the universe. More than a trillion, okay, exists in a human body. Excellent. Okay, now we pass to the reading skills. And in this case, it's understanding pros and cons, okay? Writers will often discuss both the pros, okay? That's mean the good points, okay? The good point of view of a person. And the cons, the bad point of view of a person, okay? Of a piece of information or an issue, that's mean, or a problem. Understanding both sides is a useful way to consider an issue. It can also help you decide your own opinion. When taking notes of a text that includes both pros and cons, it can be helpful to list them into columns. Okay, that means you can draw a chart, and in the chart you can write, for example, in the uh, left side the pros and in the right side the cons. Okay, and it's better for understanding. Yes. Okay. Now determining pros and cons. Look at this information about bacteria in our body. Okay, we write the letter P and the letter C. If we consider this is a pro, we write P. And if we consider this is a can, we write the letter C. Okay, number one, bacteria help fight infections. This is, is this a pro or is this a can? In this case is pro, exactly. That means it's a good point. Number two, bacteria can cause infections, pro or con? In this case is con, okay, that means it's a bad point. Bacteria help us to digest food. And in this case is, okay, this is a pro. And number four, bacteria make vitamins, okay, and this is a pro. That's mean number one, three, and four are pros. And number two, con. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Right now, we identify pros and cons, okay? We read the paragraph number four again and we complete uh, with the pros and cons of taking antibiotics okay we have pros of taking antibiotics and cons of taking antibiotics okay and in this case the part of number four says okay first one the antibiotics can kill bad bacteria this is one pro okay they can cure bacterial infections this is number two okay that's mean we have two pros okay Okay, and we have the cons. Okay, we have can kill good bacteria. This is one con. And the second one, causing health problems and making us sick. Okay, that's mean we have two pros and two cons. Okay, I give you some minutes because you need to write in, uh, in the chart that you have here. Okay, and we have a picture here with some pills and uh, an explanation. Antibiotic medicine is a common way to treat illnesses. Yes, okay. We know that in some cases, in some illnesses, and if we go to the doctor, the doctor, uh, let me see, suggests that we need to drink or maybe to take some antibiotics. Yes, but it can cause problems. Yes, we know this one too. Because in some cases, okay, the antibiotic help you for killing the, the illness that you have or the bacteria that you have. But uh, let me see, in the other hand, Okay, cause different damage of different part of your body. Yes. Okay, so let's see. We have the pros. Antibiotics can kill bad bacteria and also cure bacterial infections. And the cons can kill good bacteria or maybe cause health problems in making us sick. Okay, excellent job. Now we continue with the vocabulary practice. In this case, we match. Okay, first one, we read the information that you have here. That's mean the paragraph. Okay, and it is important that you check the red words. Yes. Okay, bacteria are organisms made up of just one cell. They live between other cells. Viruses, on the other hand, live inside cells. And while some bacteria can make us sick, most are harmless. All viruses, however, are harmful. Viruses are 10 
200 times smaller than bacteria, but both are invisible to humans. And like bacteria, viruses depend on living plants or animals to multiply and survive. Bacteria can live nearly anywhere, even on non-living surfaces. Antibiotics can occur you of a viral infection, such as the flu. They only kill bacteria. Many people have chicken soup, hot tea with lemon or chili peppers to help them get better. Okay, this is true because when I have flu, I prefer to, to drink a hot tea with lemon. Okay, so let's see. Now, number one, causing damage. What is this one? Harmful, exactly. Okay, not causing damage. In this case is harmless, exactly. Impossible to see. Okay, this is easy. Exactly, invisible. Helping, healing. What is that? Okay, cure. To need in order to survive. Depend on. And a disease or an illness. In this case, it's an infection. Okay, let's review. Number one, harmful. Number two, harmless. Number three, invisible. Number four, cure. Number five, depend on. And number six, infection. Excellent. Now we pass to the exercise B. And this one are the words in context. Okay, we complete the sentence with the correct answers. Number one, you have balance when both sides of something are heavy or are equal. Okay, easy, equal, exactly. If you have a lack of support, you have a lot of support or no support. In this case, no support, exactly. To restore something means to make it like it was or hide it from others. In this case, make it like it was. And something that is deadly can kill you or cure you. Okay, kill you, exactly. Number one and two, letter B. And number three and four, letter A. Excellent. Okay, and we have the word like, okay, we have the suffix is full and less, okay, the meaning of the suffix full is full of, and the meaning of the suffix less is without, okay, and if we add to some nouns or maybe we form some adjectives, okay, for example, uh, wonderful, okay, that is an adjective, or maybe worthless, okay, and in some cases we take both for a specific word, harmful, harmless, okay. These one are the words that we have studied today in the target vocabulary. Okay, thank you very much for your participation in the class. Okay, and I uh, wish for you a wonderful week. Okay, thank you very much.